morning. This is a tutorial I'll show you how to import a document that you need your client to electronically sign. In this demonstration, we're going to go ahead and do a seller's disclosure. So when you go ahead and when you want to import that file, if we click on the left hand side, we're going to click the doc box, go ahead and go to inbox folder. And this is where you would go ahead and click add and we want to add a new document. And then from here, you would just go ahead and click here, and then you could just drag and drop it, or you could select. I've already done so in this case. I'm going to close those out. Go ahead and click on the menu, which is the three little dots on the far right-hand side. And we're going to go ahead and click Sign In to AuthentiSign. And we're going to go ahead and select our participants. So from here, we go ahead. I'm just going to go ahead and add myself. And I'm going to make myself as the buyer. And so let's just say that uh, for the purposes of this demonstration, this is a husband and wife that needs to sign the seller's disclosure. Notice that you can do the same address, email address. And now we're going to go ahead and click the design. All right, so we're going to scroll down. So you'll notice in the top right hand corner, it first says Mark. So now we're going to set up all the initials for Mark. So we're going to do the initial here. We're going to scroll down. Bottom left of every page, even the signature pages, still has an initial. So the fourth page, we got so we're going to do the the sign, signer's name, print. Then we're going to go ahead and just drag and drop the auto date. Don't forget that initial, on the fourth page, and then obviously the fifth page as well. And then initial. So now that we've completed all of that, we just want to go, go ahead and do a quick review, make sure that we can, we hit all the fields. We didn't miss a we didn't miss a place for an initial, a place for a signature, or a place for a date. So we'll just go back up to the top. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to change. Tracy. And now we're going to go ahead and do the exact same thing. And then the initial first page. So we just drag and drop the signature, signer's name, and the date. And don't forget that don't forget that initial. And now the fifth page. Sign. Signer's name. Date. Initial. And once we've done all of that, we review to make sure that we didn't miss anything. We go ahead and click next. And now we go ahead and we send the invitations out, and those are the emails that our clients will receive. So I hope this helps you in being able to get your get your documents electronically signed by your clients. It'll obviously save you a lot of time, a lot of headaches, and I hope you enjoyed it.